Hey guys, it's Keith here from SX Recording Studios and I've got a fender for you. Uh, I say guys because I'm looking at the analytics on my channel and out of the thousands of people that watch these videos, 98.2% of you are dudes. So uh, we need more chicks watching this channel. Maybe you guys can give me some advice. But back to this guitar, this thing is super clean. Um, I've never seen one this color before. Maybe you guys know what it is. When I saw it, at first I thought it was a Fiesta Red, or like I saw it in a very dark room, and uh, as I got closer to it, it's actually more of like a an orange or salmon-like color. I love it. It's really got this beautiful metallic pearl to it. Uh, it was described to me as a Fender Deluxe Special Edition. And I'll show you some of the things that stand out about it. So for starters, it's had an upgrade with Seymour Duncan stacked pickups. I don't know the model numbers, but you guys who are experts can probably just look at them and know just by the pole patterns. This is obviously a very distinct pattern there. Uh, it's got the gold letters on the tone and volume knobs. Really like that. Just look at the detail on this paint. It's gorgeous. Uh, excellent condition. Maple neck and fretboard with the black ebony dot inlays. You can see the frets have not much use. The guy that I got this from had a big collection of guitars. He does not play, he is disabled, and uh, just really enjoyed having nice instruments. I'm gonna flip this over here. So I'll take it out of its case. Let's go ahead and put this down. Move the case over. Move this over here. All right, let's go ahead and I'll show you the back. You can see what I'm talking about. So you've got the Fender Corona California neck plate. This color grows on me every time I look at it. And uh, just very distinct. I've never seen this in any guitar shop. Haven't seen one for sale ever on uh, Reverb or eBay where I'm buying guitars every day. Nice quarter sawn maple neck it looks. That's what I was told that that kind of grain feature there is an indication of a properly quarter sawn neck. That comes from one of our YouTube viewers. Really nice locking tuners. I love the uh, kind of like the pewter matte finish on them. Totally dig that. There's this Fender Special Edition logo there, and there's your North American 2001 serial number Z1. It's 2001. Go ahead and show you this headstock up close and personal. We've got the single string roller tree there. I know for some years they went to uh, two of these bad boys and uh, you experts will know what years those are. There's the logo up close. Original contour body. They've got a little bit of, uh, I guess like a lacquer coat that goes over the whole neck. And you always get, uh, you always see a little bit of wear spots over the dot inlays, I notice. Here's your pick guard. Bridge. All right, let's ch check out what's inside the case. So this is not an original Fender case. This is a Hiscox. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but they're based here in England. I think they're, they're made right down the road from my buddies in Piston near uh, Birmingham. But we've got this uh, Pat Merchant. Looks like locking strap. Tremolo arm, always important. And we open this up. Case candy. Got your bumper sticker. No one in Europe really does bumper stickers. 
Lifetime warranty. More hand cards. There we go. Lacquer and finishes. Uh, maybe this will tell me what color this is. I seriously have no idea what the actual name of the color is on this guitar. I'm hoping someone will comment and clue the rest of us in to what this is. But yeah, got all of that. And a, an owner's manual where I guess this teaches you how all the stuff works. All right. Cool. There you go. So that's what comes with this thing. And uh, what I've read online in the forums is that you got a lot of these quote-unquote special edition guitars that uh, were mainly limited runs of colors like this. So I'm assuming that's what the special edition aspect is of this guitar. I can't imagine these Duncans were uh, factory for it. That being said, everything else seems like original hardware that you would expect to find. The bridge, the uh, um, roller tree there. The tuners, I do know I've seen deluxe uh, models with locking tuners. I'm not sure if those are original or not, but uh, my guess is no, although I'm sure the experts will chime in and let us know. So, hopefully we get a little more info from the gallery on this one. And other than that, you get a good idea of what this guitar from 2001 looks like in person, up close. Some people say they don't make them like they used to. This one's just about 17 years old as we rapidly approach 2018. And to me... Shows its age uh, very well. I would not expect this to be nearly two decades old. Super clean guitar. All right. Cool, guys. As I always say, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We've got the new website up, Studios. And uh, tell your wives and girlfriends to watch these videos because 2% female viewership just ain't cutting the mustard. All right? I've got more videos coming up soon, guys. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.